I really didn't think I'd be making this video again. Especially so soon. Hi guys, it's Talisha and I mean you've read the title. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, Bambi has injured herself again. I'm going to tell you quickly what happened then I'm going to get into the photos. So, if you aren't good with blood, <laughs> can't believe I have to say this again. <laughs> if you aren't good with blood after I've done the explanation, I would just suggest clicking off because because the rest of the video probably won't be much of interest to you. Um, also, don't mind the stuff on her lips. I just gave her Tough Rock Conditioner Plus, hence why she's got the little lipstick on. So, let's just cut to the chase. Um, as you guys know, Bambi and Jep, Jep's over here, are at a new property. They're not at my house at the moment. A really lovely lady that I do some work with, she owns racehorses, um, allowed offered for me to keep my two horses at her place while we were pretty wet and it also allows us to pasture improve our own place which we have been needing to do so they have had access to some really nice paddocks and um yeah so the property here is amazing i mean it's made for racehorses so it's tip top shape condition the paddocks are so safe it's ridiculous like so safe Anyway, so um, Bambi, um, Bambi's last injury wasn't a paddock accident, just before I get into it. It wasn't her in the paddock carrying on like an idiot. It was just a bad place, wrong place, wrong time, um, where something spooked her and she ended up over a barbed wire fence. That was not something that happened in a paddock where she was just like lounging around. So, where well, this one is. Um, so... What had happened, we believe, I did not see it happen, but there was no, the only blood that was around the paddock was in the middle of the paddock. And due to what the injury looks like, and the vet agreed, we think what she's done is she's overreached in the paddock pretty badly. I think she's actually done it. Um, she only has shoes on her front feet, so it kind of makes me feel like she's maybe even crossed her legs over with her front feet and done it, because it's like the inside, bulb of her offside front where she's done it on anyway she's done a pretty pretty good job of it hate to say um and before anyone says yes from now on she will obviously be wearing bell boots she actually has them on right now um but she likes to trash things so that's great anyway the injury was pretty pretty decent um she luckily did not hit any tendons nor did get close to any tendons she did hit an artery um but she managed to clog that up with dirt so she did not bleed out much which is really good like she barely bled at all um but yeah so as for time off we are not sure it's quite a difficult thing um she was not able to get stitched so it's just an open wound um well it's bandaged but the thing is with Bambi as well and with this wound is she's not keen on keeping the bandage on. Um, so I am doing everything I can to keep it on. Normally she'll keep it on for a couple days, which is better than nothing. Um, I've tried medical boots. I've tried literally every suggestion and nothing is working. Um, and they're always covered in Cribox or Red Hot, which is like a chili paste. So it isn't nice for them to chew doesn't really deter her but I put that on morning and night um, she as I said she managed to normally keeps them on for about two days um, but it's still healing really nicely she heals really fast which is good but here I'm gonna get into photos so warning I'm gonna show some photos so this is when she injured it like when she actually did it and how I found her I should say um, and then here is the vet's job of what the vet did, which was really good. Um, the vet was really good. And then she was on penicillin for five days. Then she went on Solprim. So then, yes, she was on Solprim and um, wasn't infected at all. But I did have a vet out to just cut off a little flap of skin, which was stitched, but the stitches didn't hold. Um, 
so that was good to have that cut and I'll have pictures up of after it was cut up now I've just realized that I think I've got cribox on my top lip and it is stinging <laughs> but the horses are still at the property because I didn't want to have to be moving her with her injury um, and it's just less stress um, they are in a yard though now so I'll show you their yard oh big stretch <laughs> um, this is their yard she does not have to be boxed again which is good and then they have also been in that yard we just keep swapping them over so Bambi's very happy because she's not boxed up like she was last time Jeff's just having the time of her life <laughs> um, but this is what Bambi looks like with her with her boot so she's also yeah she trashed that bell boot um, she is just a troublemaker <laughs> but this is what it currently looks like I've just covered the bell boot and the bandage in Cribox so the whole thing isn't duct taped but the hoof itself is duct taped so that's my current bandage situation um, there is actual bandage materials under the bell boot but I've covered that in Cribox so I'm not taking that off um, so she's not lame at all on it as you can see she'll walk now very comfortable on it which is good um, also as for her old injury where is it exactly they have healed completely so now we have a new injury to try and not let scar because both of these ones did not scar at all look at her legs like look at her legs oh that's okay yep no scar there is actually a little bit of cream on it because I've just been still putting vitamin E cream on it because the hair is only like really short at the moment but yeah no scarring I wish I could say that the, the, this new one would be the same but something tells me we're gonna have a big scar but I mean time will tell um, they're still very happy but yeah they're still being very spoilt and I see them at least twice a day not that I need to because they get fed for me but um, I still like coming out here which is why the Sun is rising at the moment because I like to check them myself and take rugs off and stuff because it's spring here now so it's um, getting quite nice during the days here and then I can also check Bambi over and put some more crib box on her but yeah so yeah I mean that's kind of it at the moment so yeah I'm not riding Jep at the moment either because if I take Jep out of the paddock Bambi will run and buck and carry on and I don't want her to be doing any of that at the moment and like the option also is to like walk Bambi out um, when I ride Jep which we will probably be doing eventually but for those of you who don't know Kyle's currently in a cast and because Kyle helps me all the time with the horses he would normally be the one that would like would hold Bambi and walk her while I ride Jep but can't really have him doing all that while he's in a cast um for those wanting to know he had an accident at work and he broke four places in his finger and he's had to have two surgeries because after the second after the first surgery it was crooked 2020 has just been a rough year um obviously now Bambi will be wearing protective stuff I'm not going to probably put her in boots because she's a horse that does get quite warm quite easily um, so I don't like the idea of having her in boots all day um, especially in while it's getting warmer like this her legs just heat up I did do it at the start and she just gets irritated by them and literally just rips them off and they were like breathable good boots um, Bambi will, will literally just take off something if she doesn't like it on like she's very persistent um, but as I said her other injury was not a paddock injury so the only thing but she will definitely be in bell boots because she overreaches so much because she's got such a big stride in her trot so I don't know if she's done it from trotting or if she's done it like where she stood on herself pretty hardly but either way she will be wearing bell boots 24 7 but probably not paddock boots because I don't really like the idea of them in warmer months but I might put them on her at night and take them off during the day but at the moment she's in a yard she can't get up any speed um, but yeah so that's kind of that I thought I'd just do this quick video to let you guys know it's so frustrating I wish I wasn't making this video but yeah so time off kind of depends 
on so many things it's so hard to know with this kind of wound it's in such a horrible spot too my guess though is probably similar to time to last time so we need to wait for it to heal over completely which is harder because it's an open wound rather than a stitched up wound but we'll see um definitely stay tuned on my channel though just because I'm not writing these two it doesn't mean that I'm not going to be putting out videos and that I don't won't be writing at all because there's a few opportunities that have arisen for me um, due to really generous people and kind people in my life like honestly next week's video will probably be really exciting yeah so yeah I hope you guys can I even say that I hope you guys enjoyed this video like how could you have enjoyed this video but anyway it is what it is um yeah it's frustrating it really is um because we're going so well in our training but just gotta take what life gives me i guess 2020 just has not been my year but that's fine it's been like that for everyone i think <laughs> i've parked right near their paddock because i'm about to go to work but just look how gorgeous it is here i'm definitely lucky and the, and the arena is just over there. We cannot use it. <sighs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. <sighs> just stay tuned, guys. Things, things will look up on this channel, I promise. All right, bye.